I'd like to show you this uh, Tramontina 12 inch bush machete. I just picked it up. It was like a little over $5 for the machete. About $5.50 for the sheath came in. There it is. You can take a quick look at that. Nice 12 inch blade. 17, in, 17 inches overall. Hardwood handle. Okay. I took a sanding sponge and I sanded along this edge here. There's a little gap in here and that smoothed it out real nice so it made it feel much better. You could also stain these handles if you want to. I like the way it looks. Um, I'm impressed with this. This is going to be a great machete for uh, light chopping. Do it mainly primarily just clearing brush uh, to create shooting lanes for bow hunting. Uh, my brother has a, um, a nice little woods probably a quarter mile or more of trails running through it. This is just perfect to walk along and clear clear um, light brush and grasses, clear a campsite with it. It's really neat for five bucks. This is the greatest deal in all of knives. It's a better deal than the Mora knives, uh, probably better than the Openel, the French folders. This is the ultimate uh, knife for five bucks. And again, looks great in the sheath here. Slide it right in there. Really cool. Weighs 13 ounces with the sheath, so it's lightweight. Carry it in your pocket. I got it because you can stick it in a backpack and bring it with you in the woods. Really neat. Sharpen this. You might want to use a little bit bigger. Turn this upside down. Might want to use a little bit bigger file than this. But just run it along the edge like this. It comes with a, a rough factory edge, and the tip of it, the last half inch, is actually uh, flat squeeze on that. It's actually flat the last half inch. But you can see this metal's real nice. It has a ring to it. Move that along. It'll probably take 15 minutes total sharpening on both sides to really start to slice paper. But It will slice paper when I'm done. I'll smooth the edge out. I'll bring it right up to the end. I'll hold it a little differently get this in and I'm probably going to get rid of this blunt area too. I'll probably sharpen it right to the tip. My battery died on me. But as you can see, it'll work great. A steel, I have a, a large steel. I got a, about an 18 inch steel that'll work great for a machete. To go over the edge once you have it all filed, that'll smooth out the edge, shape the edge real nice. You know what? Just a couple passes on that file and a couple passes already sharpening this thing up. Okay. What I'm going to do before I post this video, I'm going to take this out in the woods and actually use it. There it is, Tramontina. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Brazil. Pretty cool. This is the 12-inch bush machete. I was going to buy the 14-inch bolo, but they're out of that. And this is nicer. This is actually nicer for a hunter and a backpacker. I'll get the bolo later on. That's more. It's a little heavier, um, and it's more for chopping wood. Um, but this machete here will do everything I need it to do. I really don't need the bolo. These are great gifts too. Get it. Make sure you get it with a sheath. Pay the extra money because people will appreciate that. I want to show you this. I spent less than uh, 10 minutes on this blade with a simple file and a steel. That's perfect. You see that's pretty good for just for such a small amount of time and effort. All you need is a steel, or a, a file and a steel to sharpen a machete. Okay, we're in the Brazilian rainforest, or the Australian outback. You can kind of take your pick. And we're gonna, well look at this, this is kind of a cool, uh, cool damselfly. Cool. And we're gonna hack our way through here uh, with the uh, Tramontina bush machete. It's kind of hard to uh, take pictures with my camera and, and use the machete at the same time, but I'll just do a whack for you. Uh, okay, this is this is just not solid. It's machete's solid, but the uh, branch is uh, bouncing all over. That's why it was hard to cut that off. You can see otherwise uh, one little shot and these uh, little things go without immediately. Here we are again out in the Amazon bush. And we've encountered some pretty heavy, heavy duty uh, stuff. You got a watch? 
always go to the left and right when you're hitting with a machete. Go to the left and to the right of your legs. It's better to take a uh, walking stick and push stuff off to the side. And then cut it. You, you push it over and give a whack. So far the little bush machete works real well. Clearing, up, clearing the brush. A little get through here. But we're through. We are through. Wow, it looks different. But this is the trail. Wow, this is really overgrown in here. Okay, I got driven out of the rainforest by the bugs. They bit the heck out of me. And then I fell into water. It soaked my shoes. There, he's down. Um, here's another one right here. Try it on this one. And a little bit of a slight angle. See how I... Here, if I can get that on there. See how I cut that at an angle? And then it slices them right through. So it's good on some of the light stuff. Um, I noticed the edge on this blade is still really sharp. And I was back in the woods chopping and chopping. But the bugs were so bad I had to get the heck out of there. So it doesn't do too bad of a job. It's it's gonna work. It's gonna work great for cutting for clearing uh, deer trails and shooting lanes. So I'm gonna bit of hunt out here. I already broke through. You can see my shoes are soaking wet. I fell into water. I'm not kidding you. It was like like a rainforest back there. The bugs are horrible. Beautiful mesquite or dragonflies and damselflies everywhere. Here you go down like this. You can see how it just slices them right on down. Right on down that bush. No problem. Again, a little bit of an angled cut. Shoots right through. All right. So I like the Traumatina 12-inch bush machete. Get out and buy one. I paid $5.15 for this. $5.25 for the sheath, but shipping kills you. Eight bucks shipping. If you can get one shipped cheap, or find one cheap in a store, that's what you do. But it does the trick. The bolo would be better on woody stuff. But for uh, you sportsmen out there who want to carry this, um, I found the, mach the sheath very comfortable to carry. I don't have any problems with, problems with it. Here, like this big weed here. Whoa, I had a bit of see what I was hitting at. You gotta watch out too, be careful with the machete. Make sure you know where you're swinging. Cause you and always swing away from yourself so you don't hit yourself in the leg. There she is. The Tramontina 12 inch bush machete. $5 machete in a $5 sheath, and it'll last for years and years. And that handle is comfortable, by the way. Don't let anyone tell you it isn't. This little groove right here along the top, a lot of people fill that in. Mine is almost flush. So I'll just take a little bit, uh, I'll just sand it flush. Didn't bother my hands today at all. If you're chopping with it all day long, you'd be using a bigger machete anyway. Well, I'm back home from the Amazon, from the rainforest. And I had to uh, change my shoes because I stepped in water out there and I had a hard time with it. But there is my Tramontina machete. It did a good job. Some of the really green stuff, I, didn't, I probably didn't have it sharp enough to really hack through, or at least I just didn't put enough power. But uh, if it was real springy stuff. Um, but for the most part, I was happy the way it cut. I thought it did a good job. Um, it's really, really designed... Uh, for not a heavy hard day's use. You'd want a bigger machete to do that. But uh, for clearing trails, like I said, clearing deer trails, um, clearing little shooting lanes, it's perfect. Let's just see, here's a piece of paper. Let's see if it still cuts paper. Not so hot, not as, it tears a lot. Not as good as when I started it, but not bad, not bad because I really beat it up. I don't have it on film because every time I tried to stop and uh, every time I tried to um, hack down brush, I got attacked by so many mosquitoes I, I had to run for my life, but it really worked well. Now you can see it's still not too bad, not too bad a sharpness for just pounding on it. It feels sharp, it feels really sharp that edge does. There's a few flat spots I didn't really get sharp enough, 
But I, you know, I would say I'll spend another 10 minutes on this thing and uh, really put an edge on it. So if it focuses, Tramontina Brazil, the Machete of Brazil. They've been in business for many, many decades. And they, this baby rings. It's got a little ring to it when you're sharpening it and striking with it. So it's really, it's uh, by the way, 10, uh, 1070 um, car high carbon steel, if you're wondering. Okay, I'm going to sign off for now. And uh, hopefully in another week I'll have all my shooting trails clear. See you later.